you know, there there is a what we call a withdrawal period from antibiotics. So one, it's it's on the antibiotics themselves, and two, it's mandated by the USDA that that has to happen. And long story short, what that means is, if a rancher has to administer antibiotics to an animal. Um, they have to hold them for a certain period of time to allow those antibiotics to leave their system. Because just as if you and I had had an infection a year ago and took antibiotics for it, we would be we would need to take a new course if we got sick again because they don't stay in your system. There's a period that the animal has to be held if it has been administered antibiotics before it's um, sent for slaughter to ensure that that meat is antibiotic free. And there's a guy I've been following lately who is a rancher himself and he points out why would we want to go to the expense of giving animals antibiotics for no reason they're not cheap and the reality is animal welfare is distributing antibiotics where necessary um, if if your animal injures itself and you're a rancher you have a duty of care to that animal to do that and then you have a duty of care to your consumers to wait that voluntary withholding period or withdrawal period for the antibiotics to leave the system. There's a heme in the meat that determines the colour. Um, I'm sure you and your followers know about myoglobin. That's the protein in the meat that gives it its colour. And it cycles through different colours from purple to red to brown, depending on the stages and depending on uh, exposure exposure to oxygen. So, for example, if you guys have prepared meat once and you cut it and it's sort of blooming red and then you stack your steaks on top of the other and then you peel them back after a while and the steaks that were touching each other are now brown, that's called metmyoglobin. That's because it was exposed to oxygen and when you had them touching each other, now they're not. So that metmyoglobin starts to form. It's important to remember that that's purely a colour and in no way represents freshness of the meat. Um, the best way to test for freshness is the smell. Carbon monoxide will hold that red colour. So they invented what they call map packaging, which is the ones where you see those firm trays um, that the steak's in, the moulded trays, and the plastic wrap on top. Um, those usually have or can have, there's, you can also have carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide in it as the state that it's being held. It's not harmful in any way. It doesn't enter the meat. It doesn't enter the meat and then enter you. I guess a great example would be salt. You know, I could tell you that salt is a toxin because it is when it's taken in, in quantities that are too large. But you guys know and are comfortable with that a regular amount of salt is actually not a problem at all. And it's the same thing with something like carbon monoxide on a slightly different level because you're not ingesting it. 